It's time for the X and Y show. With your host, Mr. Roosevelt. He talks about man topics, lady topics, and relationships. He talks about love, sex, and infidelities. He even gives good tips. There is no other show that compares to the X and Y show. Oh yeah, sit back, take your clothes off, and relax. It's time for the X and Y show, where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. The only place on the planet that tackles the topics that everyone wants to talk about, but no one is brave enough to address. Nothing escapes X and Y, baby. Now, here's your host, Roosevelt Colbert. <sighs> And greetings, 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 and season's greetings. <laughs> Welcome to another segment of the XY Show, and I'm your host, Roosevelt. And we are closer and closer to Christmas. My favorite time of the year. I love this time of year. The only thing that I hate is two things about this time of the year that I hate. And one is that it gets dark quick because if those of you who know me and those of you listen to the show, you know I love the winter time. And when it gets cold, I like going outside and just doing shit, you know, just doing anything. Go get coffee, go walk to the park, go walk around, the, anything to get out in the cold. I love the cold weather. Now, the only thing, the only problem with that here in Miami, it's not cold. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm miserable. You know, I'm I'm born and raised in Miami, but I've been to other places. I lived all over the place. You know, I've lived in Alaska, Atlanta, Delaware, Philly, Jersey. I've been all over the place. And um I always enjoyed the cold season. I always enjoyed it doesn't have the snow. I, I like the snow, but um I like the cold, you know, this time of year and hearing Christmas songs and, and watching Christmas movies and Rudolph and Frosty and all of that. I love it. I love this time of year. But it's kind of hard because it's hot as fuck down here in Miami. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This might be my last year here. I, I tried to come back home to Miami, but just not feeling it. Uh, it's too damn hot. You got to worry about getting blown away by a damn hurricane six months out of the year. And I'm just tired of this shit. But anyway. Let's get ready for the holidays. Uh, you know, it's wonderful. I love this time of year. I'm so happy. It's the only time of the year where everybody not acting such a damn fool. Um, you know, it's, it's just wonderful. You know, and, and everybody gets into this spirit until around January 2nd. <laughs> then it's back to normal with the bullshit. So um, enjoy this next week and a half or whatever it is. Uh, with 10 days, damn, 10 days, shit, gotta go out somewhere tomorrow and, uh, see some ladies in, uh, some, uh, Christmas outfits, but, uh, you know, no, let me stop, uh, glad that you have joined me for another segment of the XY show, I just want to remind you, if I haven't told you, uh, this will be the last XY show until the new year. I'm going on a little Christmas vacation because it's kind of hard to do things, you know, getting the Christmas spirit, going out, drinking and shit, and I uh, still got to do the show. <laughs> so um, this will be the last segment of the XY show until the new year, which will be January 4th. That's the first Friday into the new year. That's when the XY show will be coming back with some new hot episodes and hopefully some more interviews and steamy things to make the show even more hotter than it is. So keep in touch, keep in tune with uh, all my social media so you can keep abreast of what's going on. But um, this will be the last XY show for the year, and I will return January 4th. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the nice episode. Is sex the only thing men really want from women? Is sex the only thing men really want 
from women. I know a lot of ladies are listening right now and, and, and really listening to see how I answer this question. And I'm going to answer it, but I'm not going to answer it the way that everyone or, you know, ladies or, you know, or even the men. I did a little survey on, on Twitter as well. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to answer the question, but not how you think I am. But I'm going to answer it truthfully because I always keep it real here on the X and Y show. Now, with that being said, the answer to that question is yes and no. When I was in my 20s, and most guys when they're in their 20s, most of the time they see a lady or see a woman or girl, whatever you want to say, a female, and she's very attractive. You know, all they want to do is have sex with the woman. You know, uh, when I was in my 20s, it, that's all I wanted to do. Is I, I, that's, all, that's all I wanted was sex. I always wanted to uh, meet her just because she was attractive, you know, and I just wanted to fuck. And I, don't, I didn't want nothing else. I didn't want to know her mind. I didn't want to know her interests. I didn't know. I didn't want to know if she sold. Uh, I didn't want to know if she uh, sang. I didn't want to know her damn hobbies. I didn't want to know none of that shit. I just wanted the pussy. That's all I wanted at that age. And that's what all guys want at that age. And the guys who tell you that, that that's not true, they're full of shit. Guys in their 20s, that's what they want. They want pussy. That, that nothing else. It's nothing personal. It's nothing mean. That's just life. That's just the way we were built. We're in our 20s. We're trying to conquer everything that move. We don't want to get to know you. That's irrelevant. You know, what the fuck I want to know you for? <laughs> you know, I, the only thing I need to know is, do you nut? <laughs> Do you do a, do you suck a dick? I, I don't need to know too much about you at that age in my 20s. Don't give a damn about your inner self. So yeah, my 20s and most guys in their 20s, that's all they want. They want some pussy. You know, that's all they want. Now, when guys move to their 30s, it changes a little bit. Some guys actually get to where they want to get to know you a little better, you know, want to know your last name. <laughs> Maybe want to know uh, your favorite color and what kind of things you like to do, you know, on a real shallow basis. But really, all they really want is the pussy. You know, that's all they really want is the pussy. Now, you now in their early 30s, now, when they get started getting in the mid 30s and stuff, it gets a little bit more serious. The guy actually wants to know something about you on a deep level. He wants to know about your mind. He wants to know what makes you tick. He wants to know what kind of wife you would be. Are you wife potential? He doesn't just want pussy. I mean, that's he wants some pussy, but that's not the only thing he wants. So it's all about a matter of maturity level of the man. You know, not to say that men in their 20s are immature. Most of the time that is the case, but it's just they're not wanting to settle down at that age and they shouldn't. They're not ready. Hell, some men in their 30s are not ready. So it's just a matter of a maturity level of what man are you talking about? You know. Usually when a man is in his mid-30s, he's thinking of more than just pussy. He's thinking about more things. He's thinking about if you would actually make a good wife. He's thinking about if he can actually take you home to his mother. That kind of shit is going on in his head in his mid-30s. So he's, he wants some pussy, but he wants other things as well. Now, when you get in the 40s, if you actually meet a guy who's in his 40s and still single... Nine times out of ten, that guy, he's, he's, he, he really wants to get to know you on an intellectual level. He wants to get to know your mind. He wants to get to know what really makes you tick. He want to know your friends that you hang out with. He want to know how you interact with your family to see maybe how you would interact with his family. He wants to see how you interact with your mother, your father, your parents to see if you respect them, you know, because that's key. 
if you respect your parents, then you respect him as a husband. He's looking at all that essential shit at this point because he's in his 40s now. He don't want to fuck up. He don't want to mess around and get the wrong woman that he calls his wife. He don't want to mess around and get the wrong woman that he says, I do to. He's really careful. He's really trying to get to know you in his 40s. But he still wants some pussy. <laughs> it comes back to that. It does. It does. It always does. You know, society trips me out. It, it really... It's almost like, you know, some guys are looked down upon is like if they want some pussy. I mean, you know, I think we get caught up in society uh, drills and society daily tasks and shit, going to work and uh, going out to clubs and uh, going to games and, uh, you know, all the shit that we do in our daily lives. You know, if we were like the people of, thousands of years ago, all they did was eat and fuck. You know, the caveman and shit. All they did was eat, hunt, well, they hunt, you know, and get the food, they bring it back to the camp and the women cook it and, and they eat, drink, and they fuck. That's, that's all they did. You know, that's what we were supposed to do. That's what we was put on this earth to do, to recreate, to reproduce. That's what our lives are supposed to do. And so, you know, today's society, we got all this complicated shit that tries to make, you know, just because somebody want to have sex is like, oh, oh, that's bad. That's all you want. Uh, you know, oh, my God, that's all he wants to do is fuck. Uh, yeah, that's that, yeah, that's what I want to do, you know, and I. You know, it trips me out. Some guys try to play the game, and some of you women always fall for the okie doke. Some of you women fall for the dumbest shit. Um, you know, listen to the guys who say that, you know, oh, you know, it's really ridiculous, you know. I, I really want to get to know a lady, and I don't want to have sex with her. Blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit. When you meet a guy that says all that shit, all that means is that's a real patient motherfucker. He'll wait until your ass cave in, and then he's going to get the pussy. That, that, he wants pussy. Don't you think that every man wants pussy? When a man looks at you from afar in a club, you know, or far from in a, in a poetry event or a mall, laundromat, grocery store, whatever, wherever, wherever you are, when he looks at you, he sees his, your out appearance. There's something about you that makes him want to approach you. He's something that he's attracted to, whether it's your ass, whether it's your titties, you know, what it is. And he's imagining fucking you. So he say, you know what, let me come up and let me go up and talk to the young lady. Now, I'm, I'm going back. I'm stepping back and walk with me now, walk with me. So if that guy's 20 years old and he's approaching you, all he wants is pussy. That's all he's looking for is a nut, you know. But if that guy's in his mid-30s, you know, late 30s, he wants some pussy, but he want to get to know you a little bit. He wants to get to know your last name. He wants to get to know how you interact with his family, your family, and how you respect your parents and stuff. He wants to know you on a deeper level. He wants to actually know if your wife, really wife potential, if he decides to go that route. He's looking a little deeper at this point. Now, if the guy's in his 40s, he's really looking deep, deep. He wants to get to know you on a real intimate level, not just sex. He wants to know your mind. He wants to know what makes you tick. He wants to know your goals and aspirations. You know, hopefully you have some. He wants to know everything or a lot of things about you, you know, before he commits to you. Because at this point in his life, he don't want to fuck up. You know, he don't want to fuck up at this point. And if, if, he, if he's in his 50s, now he, he really wants to get to know you. But there is another element as well if they're in their 50s. If a man is in his 50s and he's single, nine times out of 10, he's divorced. 
And if you think that he wants to get you, uh, I'll go ahead and say it. If he's in his 50s and he's just been divorced nine times out of 10, he's not looking for another marriage. Now you got, you always have an exception to the rule. You know, you always have some 20 year olds that might be mature. You have some 30 or mid to 30 year olds that might be immature. You, you do, you have that. You have some 50 year old men that are immature and always just want pussy, never ready to settle down. There are always exceptions to the rule. But nine times out of 10, if you see a 50 year old man, he's single, nine times out of 10, he's, he's divorced. He's not looking to settle down. He just wants some pussy. And it's probably going to be with somebody who's at least 20 years younger. You know, so and that's that's another reason why women, you know, they think that, you know, guys, uh, you know, why are they going up to younger women? Well, they want a younger mom. They've been with a, a woman their age for 25, 30 years. It didn't work out. Now they want a younger model. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. You just want a woman that's, how can I put it? Uh, well, the wear and tear is not as much. <laughs> That's all. It's no, it's no, nothing personal, but that's just the way it is. But anyway, that's another show. So when you ask the question, does a man want, all he wants is sex from a woman. Well, it depends what age the man is. It depends on what the man is looking for. And a lot of that depends on his age. If he's in his twenties, yes, that's all he wants is sex. Nine times out of 10. You know, pretty much 10, 10 out of 10. That's what he wants. He wants sex. He wants nothing else from you. He don't want to know shit about you. He don't want to know your last name. He don't want to know where you're from. Now, he might not, now don't get me wrong. He asks you a lot of questions. Some of you women are, oh, that's not true because this guy, he's 24. He came up and had a nice conversation and blah, blah, blah. Asked me where I was from and where I was going to school. And... <laughs> yeah, he'll talk to you. He'll say anything to you. Do you believe in aliens? No. He'll say any damn thing to you just to get some pussy. But that's rest of the show. That's all he wants if he's in his 20s. He's not looking for anything else. That's all he wants. That's all he needs. Once he get it, you know, you know, he, he has no more use for you. Now, if you got some real good pussy, he might keep you around for a little while. Because <laughs> me personally, I never threw fish back. <laughs> I don't, you know, unless there's some real, real terrible bad pussy. I never threw fish back. Oh, always used. I all had his use. Oh, yeah. I never threw no fish back. But um, if you got some real good pussy, not time to tell he'll keep you around. But if he's in his 30s, he want to get to know you a little better. And, you know, it's all about maturity. It's not about men, per se. Because all men are different, you know. A man in his 40s, I mean, me personally, I'm totally, di I'm a totally different guy than I was when I was 20. Totally different. It's, it's not even, you can't even compare it, you know. And yeah, I was immature. I, I, I was, I was young, you know, younger. I'm still young, shit. But I was younger. And, you know, I, I was out to conquer, you know, and yeah, that's, that's, I wanted the pussy. That's all I want. I, marriage. <laughs> what? Your last name, <laughs> your favorite color. I didn't give a fuck about that. I just wanted a nut. That's all I wanted in my twenties. That's all most men want in their twenties. Now when I was in my thirties, I still wanted a nut, but I talked to you a little bit. I really I listen to you a little bit, you know. Oh, oh, your favorite color red. Oh, okay. Your last name is Smith. Oh, okay. <laughs> I listen to you a little bit, you know, but I still wanted a nut, you know. It wasn't all I wanted at that point, but I, I just I wanted to get to know you a little bit. But I wanted a nut. That's what I wanted. I'm just being real. That's what most guys want, you know. It's all about maturity, ladies. In their twenties, that's all they want is a nut. That's all they want. Get in their thirties, they want a nut, but they want to get to know you a little bit, just a little bit. 
get in their 40s, they still want a nut. But they really want to get to know you. They really want to get to know you. They want to really get to know, can she be the one? Can she be the one I take home? Will she get along with my family? Will I get along with her family? You know, how's her dreams and aspirations, her goals? Does she have them? You know, they really look deep in their 40s. They still want a nut. Don't get it twisted. They want a nut. But they really want to get to know you at that age. In their 40s? Oh, yeah. So it's not all about the pussy at that time. They still want some pussy, but other factors come into play as well. Now, when they're in their 50s, like I said before, they want a nut. You know, just not from you. <laughs> Unless you're 20 years younger. You know, but that's another show. I'm not going to get into that. But, um, so when you ask that question, is sex the only thing men really want for women? You have to really step back and say, well, how old's the man? You can't just answer that question because all men are different. All men have different maturity levels. But speaking in general sense, um, like I told you, it's all about the maturity level. In my 20s, I was totally different. Totally different. Totally different. It, 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 you know, I, I amaze myself sometimes the way I used to think when I was 20. Like, damn, I really... Damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you, you think about like, damn, I, I, I really thought like that. You know, it's, it's just all about maturity. If you ask me this question in my 20s, the answer would be yes. That's all I wanted was sex. That's all I wanted was a nut. Nothing else. Nothing else mattered. But when I was in my 30s, my mid-30s, all I wanted was, yeah, I, I, it, it didn't turn it. That's all I wanted. I wanted sex, but I also wanted to know you a little better. I wanted to, you know, remember some things about you at that point. <laughs> Now, in the 40s, I'm really listening to you. Really listening. I want to know your last name, every damn thing about you. I want to know your goals. What do you plan to do? Your family? Do you want to have kids? You know, all that shit. I want to know, can you be Mrs.? You know, I really don't want to fuck up in this stage. So, I still want a nut. Don't get it twisted now. <laughs> I'm going to want a nut. I still want a nut. But I really want to get to know you at this point. And, you know, and that's just like all men in their 20s. All they want is sex. In their 30s, they want sex, but eh, they want to get to know you a little bit. When they their 40s, they want a nut, you know, but they really want to get to know you. So when you're asking this question, you can't just ask this question. You have to say, well, how old is the man? If he's in his 20s, yeah. He's going to answer differently than the guy in his 40s. You know, the guy in his 30s is going to act differently than the guy in his 20s and 40s. And like I said before, you always have exceptions to the rule. You have some guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s. Still, all they're trying to get is pussy. They're not ready to settle down. Never will be ready to settle down. I know a lot of guys like that. In their damn late 50s, early 60s, still just fucking, you know. You know, not thinking about getting married or none of that shit. And then, you know, I'm not putting them down. That's two inches to you know, two inches on. That's their thing. Let them go. They're grown. You know, they're, they're men. It's their lives. But I'm just giving, making a point. There's always exceptions to the rules. It doesn't just because a man is 50s and 40s and 60s doesn't mean he's guaranteed to be, you know, marriage material. Doesn't mean that he not just want some pussy. There's always a section of the rules. There's some guys out there, that even though they're older, they still just want some pussy. And after they fuck you, they want you to get out of their face. That's just the way it is. It'll always be that way. It's been that way for decades. It's been that way for centuries. That'll never change and never will as long as we're living and long past our deaths. That's the way it always has been. But it always will be. So, when you ask that question, 
Is sex the only thing men really want for women? First, ask how old is the man? If he's in his 20s, nine times 10, yes, that's all he wants is pussy. That's all he wants is a good nut. When he fucks you, he wants you to get out of his face. If he's in his mid-30s, you know, I say mid-30s, his early 30s, he's still got a little them 20s left over. If he's in his mid-30s and up, he still want a nut, but it's not the most important. I mean, it's important, but he wants to get to know you just a little bit on, just a little bit, just on the surface. You know? But when he gets in them 40s, he still want a nut, but he really want to get to know. He want to go deeper and know the real you. Can you really be the missus? Can I walk down the aisle with her? Can I say I do to this woman? You know, after I fuck her. That's what he's looking at now at this point. So when you ask that question, you can't just say all men all they want is sex. You can't say that because that would be inaccurate. That would be a very inaccurate statement. It's not true. You have to ask how old is the man to really answer that question. So, if you're dating someone right now and they're in their 20s, yes, all he wants to do is fuck you. That's all he wants to do. You know, I know I'm going to get some emails from this from guys. Hey, man, 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 what you doing, man? I got some emails last couple of weeks ago when I was talking. Damn, man, what you doing? Keeping it real, ladies. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to, you know, I don't know why y'all keep falling for that shit. If he's in his 20s, all he wants to do is fuck you. If he's in his mid-30s, he might be serious. He might be serious. He wants to get to know you a little better. He, not, he, he still want to fuck you. He's going to fuck you. But he, he's not. that's not the most important thing. He want to get to know you a little bit. If he's in his 40s, he's really serious. He just don't want to fuck you at this point. He want to find out if he can really live out his days with you. He don't want to fuck up at this point. And like I said before, there's always exceptions to the rule. Some of you right now are dealing with some 40 olds and they just fucking you. And you know they're not going to ever settle, settle down with you, but you stay with them because you think maybe I can change him. <laughs> and that's another show in its entirety. <laughs> you know, so it's always exceptions to the rules. But for the most part, that's the way it is. So when you ask that question, is sex the only thing men really want for women? You first have to ask, how old is the man? Before you really, truly can answer that question. That concludes another segment of the XY Show. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember that you can always follow me on all of my social media. I am on, uh, what am I on? Tumblr. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter. And you can always listen to me at any outlet that you listen to. I'm on CastBox, I'm on TuneIn, I'm on iTunes, I'm on Spotify, uh, I'm on Stitcher, I'm on Google, I'm on uh, iHeartRadio. So make sure you subscribe to whatever outlet you listen to and let me know what, how you're feeling and how you liking the show and make some comments and let me know that you really out there listening to what I say. You can find all of it at my social media and my listening outlets at my website, which is www.thexyshow.com, www.thexyshow.com. Um, you can find everything there. You can always find the upcoming episodes. You can find the X and Y store. There's some nice gifts. It's still time to get your Christmas gifts. Get somebody that X and Y mug, shirt, uh, iPhone cover, Android cover, all that shit. And there's going to be some more stuff in the new year, I promise. Um, so pay attention to the X Y store. It's still time for you to get that good gift for somebody. Send me a picture and I'll post it on my account to let everyone know that you are a true X and Yer. There's also a comment box for you to leave a comment uh, to me and uh, say something, say hi, say you're enjoying the show, say you didn't agree, say you disagree, whatever you want to say, constructive criticism, anything, just let me know that you're there and I would 
damn sure get back to you. Remember, I'm taking a little break. This will be the last X and Y show airing for this year of 2018. The next show will air January 4th of 2019. That's the first Friday, January 4th. So be back at that time. In the meantime, I have an episode where you can listen to uh, what Christmas means to me. Um, be sure you listen to that. If you missed, you might have missed it last year. Um, pay attention to my Twitter. So you can always listen to that as well. And without further ado, I want to make sure that I tell you all a merry, merry Christmas and happy new year. Have a safe and wonderful holiday. And uh, I want you to drink a lot. I want you to fuck a lot. Make some babies. And then when they're born next year, I want you to take a picture of them and say, hey, this is an X and Y baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that is it for the year 2018 i will see you on the next year of 2019 and i want you always to remember you cannot have love without x and y merry christmas and happy new year later You've been listening to The X and Y Show with your host, Roosevelt Colbert, the place where real relationship issues are talked about and addressed. Join us next time. You can now put your clothes back on or not. Uh.